Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the three testaments of our Father. The Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Third Testament of the Bible, from which this study will come from. We're looking here in chapter 38 of the Third Testament of the Bible, which is called The Three Divine Revelations and the Seven Seals. But this video will be the first part of a mini-series on the Three Divine Revelations. Now, the section that we're going to be looking at particularly is the three testaments. Why there are three testaments, where they came from, who wrote them, when they were written, what is the difference between the three, what different messages do they hold, answering many, many questions about the third testament of the Bible and its relationship to the other two. But instead of covering this entire section in one long video, what I plan to do is break it down into different classes or different lessons in about five or six shorter videos, giving you the chance to watch the entire video because a lot of times when people cut out too early, they will end up missing very important points that are made toward the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Looking right here at verse 18, He's talking about Moses, the Messiah, and Elijah. It says, there is the road the Lord has marked to help men elevate themselves to the kingdom of peace, light, and perfection. In other words, it was our father's plan all along for these three individuals to come down to earth to help us out, to help people out. First, there was Moses who taught us the law. Then it was our Messiah who taught us love. And now we have Elijah who is teaching us light. And it's going to break down further who these individuals are. But what we're learning here is that this is the way our creator designed it. This was his plan the whole time. Our spiritual evolution. Humanity has always been slated to evolve spiritually over the course of these three phases. Verse 19 says, Feel the presence of the Lord's envoys in your life. None of them have died. They live on to illuminate the road of men who have become lost, helping them to arrive again from their falls and strengthening them so that they may give themselves with love to fulfillment in the trials of restitution. And of course, these three envoys he's speaking of is our Messiah, Elijah and Moses saying that they have never died. They've never gone anywhere. We remember in the book of Matthew chapter 17, where those three stood on the mountain together, again, pointing to the fact that this has always been our father's plan. Verse 20 says, understand the work that Moses completed on earth through the inspiration of our father. Analyze the teachings of your son through whom the divine words spoke and seek the spiritual sense of my new revelation, whose era is represented by Elijah. Just like a three-stage rocket, this is our father's plan for our spiritual evolution. We must understand that Moses, working under the inspiration of our father, brought us the law, teaching us how to live as humans, teaching us the difference between being clean and unclean, how to love our brother, and how not to get cut off from our father by our idolatrous acts. So that error would be represented by our father. Then it says, analyze the teachings of your son through whom the divine word spoke. So here, like we recognize in the book of John in chapter one, it was our Messiah who was the word made flesh. So in the first error, we got the word from Mount Horeb given to Moses coming directly from our father. Then that word was made flesh in the form of the Messiah. The only difference being is that that word that was spoken to Moses actually came to life and was walking around amongst men. And now similar is happening where it says, seek the spiritual sense of my new revelation whose era is represented by Elijah. And we're going to find out in the following sections that Elijah is the Holy Spirit. So here are the three that we've all heard about, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
each of the three coming with new instructions for how to live under that period. And that's what's important to understand here. Just like Moses came teaching us the law, we actually got a testament or a book out of the deal that actually wrote that down for us so we can know how to live according to what Moses taught. And the same was true when our Messiah came. We was given a whole new set of instructions which complemented the old instructions. Didn't change anything or do away with anything, just helped us to understand the Old Testament. Well, the Third Testament is doing the same thing. This is a new set of instructions that doesn't contradict the old or the new, but only helps explain them and clarify, along with giving us instructions on how we are to live going forward, how to live under this new spiritual existence that we call the new covenant. But we're going to get into more of that in the following videos in this series. So make sure you subscribe so you can see when those videos come out. If they are out already, you should find a link to it here. But if not, check out these videos on Elijah or one of these others that you should find interesting. And leave us a comment below. Hit that like button. Pray for us. And Shalom.